Okay, action. <laughs> <laughs> to someone today which it was my supplier and now became my good friend and here it is uh, we're in Guangzhou so please give a little bit introduction about yourself hi everyone my name is Asher people call me Ash I'm, uh, I'm from Go Vegan uh, we actually uh, we provide healthy food all over Guangzhou fresh food groceries like uh, which food vegan food Go Vegan yeah but like which kinds Wow. I, yeah, he provides some salads. Right. Some... We, we use 150 different types of ingredients. It wow. includes grains, legumes, fruits, vegetables, nuts and seeds. Actually, the idea is to provide the best solution for everyone to have great food in Guangzhou. Food with a bit of knowledge uh, and not just eating up. Like, I really like his mixed lettuce, basil for my smoothies and some others. So let him tell more about it. Yeah. All right, so actually we have hydrophonic vegetables. The idea with hydrophonic vegetables is... Uh, too much. I cannot move too much? You have to stay steady for the camera. All right. So the idea is that uh, hydrophonic vegetables are veggies that not grow on the ground, on soil, and they grow actually on some kind of... It's a, it's a kind of a lamp, lab for veggies. And the results are amazing because they don't use any... Uh, uh, pasteurized on it so it's very very clean fresh food groceries uh, veggies hydrophonic veggies <laughs> also we have desserts everything is plant-based the idea is to deliver the food everywhere in Guangzhou and Guangzhou is huge what about other provinces I've asked okay Shenzhen we, you, I know that you deliver mm. elsewhere uh, we deliver to Shenzhen, to Shanghai, and to Beijing as well. We, when it comes to groceries, we can deliver uh, everywhere, everywhere in China. This is uh, we're using uh, Express Courier. How long deliver. it will take from uh, when I place the order? Two days, three days? It depends where you at. If you're in Shenzhen, it's about it's one day actually. Beijing, it's two days. Shanghai, two days. Yeah. Okay, so basically he does some. He has a menu, in, and he does uh, like fast go vegan food. Well, it's not fast, but. He does deliver all, all over Guangzhou. And the rest, the groceries and the produce, the, the vegan, really fresh, organic. Yeah, I forgot to say it's we organic. Have few, we have a few products that are organic. Yeah. Yeah. So he delivers all over China. For those of you that want to, were wondering where to buy your things, I really recommend to give him a try because I do it myself. I, I buy from him every week. So. Yeah, right now the, first, the channel that we're using for sales is WeChat. Soon we're going to extend for. Uh, so it will be actually much more easier for everyone to purchase our product. Um, yeah, they really, uh, guys, the idea is to eat clean. The idea is to have uh, uh, a fresh food, food that is actually a complete meal that includes everything that you need every time that you eat. So you don't need to think too much if it's the right thing that you got to eat or maybe it's not the right thing that you're eating. Um, yeah, that's about it. What about how is it to be vegan in China from your experience? Well, well I became actually I became vegan in China about almost four years ago and I changed vegan I, I became vegan in one day so uh, it was it was very extreme. Um, if you're not cook at home, especially in Guangzhou, it's very hard because it's all about accessibility. If you don't have access to eat plants food, you, you probably and you can't you don't have the time to cook at home and, and you don't have the and you don't want to do it it's very hard to get it even now in Guangzhou it's very hard uh, to eat plants healthy food if it's uh, not from go vegan so. Why, uh, so why would you think it's hard because okay let's talk about when I came to China yeah. I was a vegetarian and it was hard why it was hard because usually where they make the vegetables all the people is like oh in China everywhere the vegetables but they make it with some uh, oils from animals and you can really yeah. taste it so although you are eating vegetables you are eating the the oil fat from the pork <coughs> Correct. and usually they will they will use the same kitchen tools for everything so you might if you are really a strict vegan or like you might end up 
having a piece of something it's kind of disgusting mm. it's not like it's not very pleasant yeah. but, but the thing is not just veggies again vegan it's not about just vegetables yeah exactly exactly okay wait yeah. so <laughs> the second part is like the only thing you could get if you are vegan maybe it be like rice and veggies but there will not be a really great other main opportunity options, options. Or options right, right like his menu his menu is so complete uh, call out some of your menu right uh, you don't know it by, by, by of his, course I know. His, he's gonna check it on his cell phone come no, on I, I know it no, myself he promotes it every day I'm, of course i'm gonna <laughs> give you some i'm gonna give you some okay we have a chickpeas curry with couscous best sellers best sellers, best sellers. Okay. curry with couscous okay we have lentil salad with uh, tahina uh, orange sauce quinoa salad with mushrooms we have whole wheat pasta spaghetti with almond pesto vegan pesto huh? yeah we have meatballs everything actually, is vegan all the everything people everything is, is vegan like... we have meatballs we have so many it's like that beetroot it's... hummus beetroot hummus we have adamame hummus it's a hummus pink it's hummus amazing. yeah it's nice it's cool it's, it's so fashionable okay yeah. so i guess now that we have uh, described everything that you can sell I am sure that so many of my subscribers are willing to know how to contact you mm. and I'm gonna leave uh, your code here. Bye. Okay. <laughs> what do you think about... About vegan in China? Yeah, but by Chinese. How is it taken by the uh, Chinese? I think Chinese... Um, the base of Chinese is, is the right base they used to eat. If you go outside of, uh, of, uh, of the city and you go to the village, they have very good base for vegan uh, food because most of them eat veggies, they eat grains, and they eat legumes. Mm -hmm. This is uh, what they eat outside of the city. As long as you get close to the city, you see more and more people that eat meat and dairy products and actually animal products. I think Chinese these days starting to understand the, uh, the results of eating uh, animal products and uh, they start to actually actually the government now start to reduce the import meat that comes into china and uh, eventually chinese they love to learn and once uh, once they realize what is good for them they will follow very fast they learn very fast so i really think that chinese eventually slowly slowly will get better and better uh, eating habits it's also like um Luxury to yeah, get fr good fr fruit. <laughs> fruit are expensive in China. It's, uh, Very. It's bit, yeah. I, if you are a fruitarian, you, I must say that you're screwed. I, yeah, I was. <laughs> I was trying that fruitarian thing. Well, not trying. But <coughs> at least sometimes even 200 renminbi. <clears throat> I have to say also about that um, because there's so many type of diets. Around. Uh, vegan if diets. It's, uh, if it's raw, uh, and if I'm wrong. Fruit, He's fr vegan. Fruitarian. But we are friends. So many different types, <laughs> and uh, I really, from my experience, and I did try all kind of, I call that extreme diets. Um, uh, we don't <laughs> discuss, huh? <laughs> so uh, I really think eventually everything needs to be balanced. You have to get from everything. If it grains, always focus on grain, legumes, veggies, fruits, nuts, and seeds. Those are the important ones, and uh, follow with that. So Ash, why you became vegan in China? Uh, actually, uh, I became vegan because uh, I realized after studies that uh, what we, uh, what I used to eat uh, wasn't uh, healthy and uh, I had to change that. I wanted better fitness results, better doing better, like pushing more weights at the gym. I wanted to run faster. Uh, I wanted to recover faster from uh, exercise and uh, after studying nutrition, until or even until now I'm studying it every day I realized that uh, that uh, food based on animal protein is uh, it's pretty bad actually and, uh, I heard a lot about recovery time it, it takes longer than if you were on a plant-based diet takes longer as an athlete yeah because I heard from runners like for example they will run and the next day they will be they will be feeling really lethargic and when they turn to a plant-based diet mm -hmm. the recovery time for the next day it was there was no need to be right. like yeah so i mean it was shorter time right. yeah that's what i mean yeah so it's shorter shorter recovery of course uh, so that's what my main reason uh, my main reason of uh, of becoming vegan however uh, after after uh, after about a year i start to learn more about the other aspects of veganism if it's uh, the industry the way that this industry works uh, yeah. The agriculture, when it comes to uh, the, the animal agriculture, once you, you dig inside and you dip a bit, 
and you dig a, a little bit animal farming that, yeah animal farming it's animal agriculture and uh, once you dig a little bit in you realize that this is something that it, it doesn't even make sense that uh, people are doing that you know this is why we don't see it on the news this is why we don't see any farm next to next to our next to our house yeah it's in places that nobody will see what's going on uh, as well as the when it comes to the environment this, this is a huge aspect on the environment uh, uh, if guys if you if you want to know more about the environment I really I really uh, recommend to see conspiracy conspiracy really take everything that got to do with the environment aspect and put it on in, in one amazing documentary movie that had huge success in the US. He got exposure by Amazon and by the cinema in the US. So by the way, where are you from? You haven't told us. I'm from Israel. Yeah. Mm. Becoming the largest vegan country in it the is. world. <laughs> yeah. It is, the largest, uh, yeah, it's uh, Tel Aviv is the vegan's heaven actually. We call it vegan paradise. Some people want mm. to become vegan in China, but they are really concerned about getting some good quality products because you could as well be eating veggies, just like transgenic, uh, vitamin yeah. less veggies. Yeah, it's uh, it's a say this, this argument is uh, is not good enough, and I explain why. It's like I, I heard a lot of people that tell me, uh, guy, do you uh, what about soy 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 milk? I'm gonna get boobs. So I would love to see the guy that get the first boobs from soybeans because I saw a lot of people that have men's boob from eating a lot of chicken. So let's pass the soybeans because it's a, this is an argument that has no scientific base, really. No scientific base. Now, when it comes to the, uh, when it comes to veggies that are actually polluted in China, I, I, I completely agree. But it's much better to have those than have any type of uh, animal product in China. If you think that... That milk, is also polluted. That is, that and it's even is, worse, I guess. It's even worse because those are creatures that are living creatures. Living creatures, to treat them, you have to give them medicine. You have, uh, antibiotics, antibiotics hormones. Or to give them medicine, not to get sick. So if you are concerned for the veggies, first think about what you are eating actually now. Exactly, exactly. Okay. And uh, I guarantee every one of you guys that if you eat regular veggies in China that you are reducing your risk for all kind of diseases most popular diseases by tremendous percentage so let the first move to veggies after think about okay can I get organic or I can't orga get organic yeah organic is more expensive but just do it by steps first remove what what is really bad for you if it's a meat milk uh, yeah, I did so. I start course. little by little. You don't have to do it all over once. Yeah. Okay, so the third, let's move to the third question. Like, so many people want to do the move, but they are afraid of how to socialize in China, being a vegan, and this is a huge concern. What about you? What is? What are your thoughts on this? For me, it's very hard, especially being a raw vegan. No comments on that. But even as a vegan or a vegetarian, it was it was a hard time because every time that I went out. So why do you don't need it? And especially, I'm doing business and the supplier is just like, no way, I'm not going to those dinners. Like the best tip I can give when it comes to uh, social, there's a lot of WeChat groups in each city. If it's in Guangzhou, or if it's in Shenzhen, that actually gathering together mm -hmm. all the, all the, the vegetarians, vegan, vegan vegans, uh, people that are, everyone that have interest, have some kind of interest in that. So uh, just get one of those, get to one of those groups. Uh, we can help you with that. This is easy. We also have our own group, uh, go, uh, go Vegan Group. It's included. Uh, if you're in Guangzhou, you're gonna have a 200 vegans, vegetarians, friends in a second. So uh, okay. It's not uh, an issue. So let's go <coughs> to the. One more thing regarding that. I most of my friends are not vegans. Uh, are actually meat eaters. I do go to restaurant with them. For me, it doesn't bother me. Uh, I, I learned to I learned to deal with that. Um, always, there is always something you can find in the menu. I know it's a problem. It's an issue. Uh, uh, and they also, if they're your friends, they need to 
they, you guys need to think together where to go so you will have also options, you know. You don't go to a steakhouse. Uh, if you have good friends, they will not take you to a steakhouse. Let's talk a little bit about uh, dating as a vegan in China. <laughs> what about your experience? Because uh, I have none. No. I never, I, I, actually, I, I, never, I never date uh, a vegan girl, I have to say, for in the last four years. All of them were like, <sighs> meet, 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 but this is what it is. Um, I don't have a lot to say about that actually. Okay. Uh, I don't. I well, never, it um, should be a great experience because you know from the start you already share the same principles that are so important for people that actually are vegan. So yeah, it's already a good start. Balance. I'm sure that now in the in the, all these vegan groups, it's 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 easier to find someone. Okay, friends, so that's it for today. Thanks a lot for watching and remember, go vegan. Oh, yeah. And don't forget, go and check out my other YouTuber friends doing the series with me.